Hey everybody, this is Lean at SA. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we were inside the Pirate's Bay place, temple, area thingy over there. And in this episode, we have eggs. Don't we? Yeah, we have eggs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go turn in these Zora eggs. Up here. Now, it's been quite a while since I've played this, so... I'm not sure how much I've explained already or anything. But... Uh, let's talk to this old... thing. Uh, Alright. So basically, what she's asking is that... Uh, she's heard that the Zoras are laying eggs, and so she wants them to go put the eggs in here so they can help them grow since outside's all screwed up and murky and everything. Uh, let's show her an egg. I said, let's show her an eggy. <laughs> oh, you finally came? I've been waiting for you. What about the eggs? Alright, there's a total of seven. Hurry up and put them in the aquarium. So right here we have three of them. Um, if I didn't explain in the last episode, there's actually one more that is inside the pirate's bay, so, or pirate's fortress, actually. So, we are gonna go get that in this episode. And then we are gonna go to get the other two in this. That was weird. And then we're gonna go get the other two inside the, another area. So the pirates, if you recall from the last episode, they only had three of them. The two of them I found inside a place called Spire Rock. And so... If that stops happening... Beautiful! Okay. Now we can go get the... Next ones. Sorry about that cut there, guys. I need to check on the recording. Uh... I believe this is my first time actually using my new computer. I'm using a new, brand new computer on this one. It's actually uh, my very own desktop, and <laughs> it's pretty, it's a pretty monster for what I've had before. So hopefully uh, the recording comes out okay because the way I have it set up right now is that I have both my lap both my desktop and the game running on the same screen. Uh, basically because I only have one HDMI and I don't want to go buy another HDMI or an HDMI to those blue adapter converters. But enough of that. We're already back in Fortress. So let's go don our stone mask. And let's go get the final look. To be honest, I don't know actually know where the final egg is, but I have an idea. Actually, let's dive here. The reason why I dove like that is because I don't want them to to notice like a little kid turning into a Zora in the middle of their front yard. Is this considered the front yard? I don't know. It's a weird area. I only know why they have it. Oh, this place. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for this entire thing. Okay, I've cut to where they've where they've already passed, so you don't have to wait there with me <laughs> in an awkward silence. And I completely screwed it up, so in a few minutes I might be caught. Or not. Okay, sweet. So luckily now that we have the hook shot. And I'm not sure if they set it up this way for the reason that you have to come back here for one egg, which I think is kind of stupid. Because you... Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Oh well. At least we have the stone mask, so we don't have to worry about them finding us. A uh, little known fact, if you press B, you actually swim faster. At least in Ocarina of Time. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing for Majora's Mask. Because pretty much they use the same engine, and <laughs> I almost fell off again, too. And now that we have the hookshot, we can just hookshot over here instead of going through all of the underwater sewage system. Is that a sewage system? I bet it smells like crap. 
Okay, sweet. So we're here again. And <laughs> now that we're here again, I'm not sure where our last eggs are. So there are seven in total. We already had three. They had four, I believe. Uh, I hope they have four. Jeez. This is what happens when you don't record for, like, forever. Okay, fun fact. In Ocarina of Time, uh, in a place known as Gerudo Fortress, which is actually very similar to this place, there's actually a, a pot of lava stew thing, like that. And in that one, you can actually go through. I'm not sure if you can go through here. <laughs> I tried it right now, and I gave up. Also, that sign right there was in the Gerudo Fortress. But, um, other than that, I'll meet you back when I find <laughs> where I should be going. See you then. Oh, look at this, I found a chest. And inside it is... 20 rupees, not too shabby. Except it's not an egg. I, d I doubt Zoras grow from money. If they did, then we'd be farming Zoras. Or, I guess we as a... people. Don't ask why I just did that. Sweet, here's the last one. Okay, what I did... <laughs> Alright, what I did there... Uh, it was sort of a sequence break. Because really, behind that door over there, we're supposed to fight another one of those... Mean girl... Mean girl warriors. Uh, however... Oh, crap. Please, just... Please die. But behind that door, we're, we're supposed to fight another one of those angry Gerudo Gore warriors. However, I... Just... Screwed it, I guess. That's how you want to call it. That aside, we have this egg. And I believe, I hope, we are done here. If I have to come back here... If, I, if I'm gonna have to come back here again, I'm gonna cry. And you won't like me when I cry. It gets messy. Oh, very messy. And we max our ruby count too. Good to know. Oh well, let's... Do this. HALT! <laughs> it takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. I'm going to love doing this to you. Avasti! <laughs> that was close to my face. Alright. Um. Crap. Okay, Deku Nuts are actually really good in this fight. If you don't remember a Deku Nuts stun enemies, uh, it's very easy to stun this girl. There we go. Got one hit. I believe she needs three hits. At least for the guild this world. That was trippy. What does that or tattle, tattle say? The pirate found you. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did you say you're caught if you don't win? All right, yeah, there we go. So you do get caught. You don't just die. And I think I might get caught real soon because I've been taking off a lot of damage. Nope, I got. It. Oh, I don't think it ends here. And boom, she disappears. Like a ninja. Pirate Ninja. Actually, that's not a bad combination. Uh, well, <laughs> we've already been there. <laughs> Let's go backwards.
this is weird that in this area you can sort of walk around like a third person shooter. Except how do I get out of here? I'll shoot it again. <laughs> I don't know, I, I for some reason I like doing that. Uh no, seriously, how do I get out of here? Do I fall from here? I don't know. But so you've already seen Okay, that's weird. Anyways, um I guess I'm going to meet you back inside the the nice marine aquatic place to turn in the egg. So I will see you there. Oh, here you go, guys. So this is how you usually get in here the normal way. If you, you don't speed run it like I did. Uh, the entrance is right here. So yeah. So basically, the three eggs are one right here, one right here, and then one right here. Actually, two in the middle. I believe. Uh, so let's get caught, because that's the fastest way out. Take me alive! And if you get caught in there, you get you only get kicked out right here. So really, you have to be kicked out out here to be kicked out in the open wild. There we go. Hey, you! Halt! Uh, I remember a lot of this happening last time I... Last episode. Or two episodes ago. Uh, there's that guy again. Did I ever talk to him? Oh well. Basically, he just says that he wants to catch a glimpse of the pretty pirates. Pretty princess pirates. Pretty princess ninja pirates. Didn't I say I was gonna come back here? Okay, guys, so we're back here. And we have an egg for this lady. So let's go turn it up here. Again, it does that for some weird reason. I don't know. Really? Come on, dude. Just throw it in there. Thank you. I guess you have to be in the middle. I never noticed that. No, you don't have to be in the middle because they're all spread apart. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. That's weird. So, we have four out of seven. All we need is... Well three more. <laughs> I don't know why it took me that long to do basic math, but yes it does. And that was kind of weird. But, to get to the next area, we need to go visit this fisherman over here. I should have probably reviewed fisherman's a rare fish inside. I bet he does have rare fish inside. Like that. Hello, buddy. Help me! Take me back to waters near Pinnacle Rock! You want that seahorse? Bring a pictograph of a female pirate dog. Actually... As a matter of fact... Looky here! Oh! That's it! That's it! I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you a crafty one? Give it... You'll give that to me, won't you, dog? In exchange, I'll give you this! And he gave me, he threw me a seahorse. Hurry, take it to your home at Pinnacle Rock. Hurry, take me back to, well, I new Pinnacle Rock. And that was the seahorse talking. Dude, your face is like, awkward. I'm kind of stunned by the, that guy's face. Oh, there's larvae. Larvae? Lever. I got my verbs mixed up. Larvae is an actual creature. Well, not a creature, but a metamorphic stage. And that's nerd talk. Alright, so let's go make it to Pinnacle Rock. Pinnacle Rock is actually a pretty cool place. It's... Unique, I guess. This place, the Great Bay Temple, has a bunch of unique places, if you think about it. 
case in point, Pinnacle Rock, and after Pinnacle Rock, um, we're going to be going into a different place that we never actually come again here. There's a lot of backtracking in this game, but they do it in a very good way. It's not, like, tiresome or anything. Sea snakes layer ahead due to murky water. Caution is vice for all winter. Sadly, you can't cut wood underwater. And there's bubbles coming out of the underside of my skirt. That's awkward. You have a strange power link. I have a quest for you. Please follow me. How does you know my name? How do you know my name? Hey, I'm talking to you. Get over here. So anybody who has played Ocarina of Time um, may call back to the place that time again in Gerudo Temple. I mean, uh, Gerudo Fortress, where we have to chase after a Poe to uh, get past like a dust storm. And again, this is sort of like a callback to that. So <laughs> now you're underwater in a complete opposite direction, chasing a golden starfish, or I mean golden seahorse, rather than a big poe. Here are the depths of Pinnacle Rocks. Here are the depths of Pinnacle Rocks. Live many dangers. Sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Link, can you please find a way to rid the area of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Please do this for me. Please defeat all the vicious sea snakes and save my friend. Okay, I only need to talk to you again. So, we need to do exactly what we, that I hope it's a guy says. And that's a sea snake. Alright, so the easiest way to kill a sea snake is to put up your shield and to hit him on the side like that. You go in and then you come back out like that and rinse and repeat. Four or three times, I guess. And that's what happens if you get caught. He eats you and then spits you out very far away. Crap, now I'm lost. So I don't know how much there is. I believe each one of these holes has one sea snake. Each one of these holes all the way around here. So, um, in order to find his friend, we are going to need to break through all the the serpents. And magic is very helpful in this place. Okay, so let's get this one over here. While I'm doing this, how are you guys? <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in quite a while. I haven't been recording lately, and today's date is... Mm, I don't know. I don't know my dates, that's a weird thing. But, uh, we're nearing around the end of high school. So yeah, that's the thing. That's why I probably have a bit more time to record. Plus, now that I have the privacy of recording in my own room. Because before, I had to go to my living room. And thus, I had to do it when like no one was around to stop annoying them. And I got eaten again. That only deals like three hearts. Not a big deal. Or two hearts, actually. <laughs> Still not a big deal. Link is a strong man. He ain't afraid of anything. And I totally sc screwed up that meme, didn't I? I hope this is... Oh, uh, no, not again. Yeah. I guess if you don't really want to be eaten, you can put up your shield and he'll spit you back out. But, eh, it's, it's half a heart. You have, like, what? A lot more than I do right now? I haven't been collecting the hearts yet. Um... It might break the continuity a bit, but after I complete this temple, I'm gonna get pretty much all of the hearts in the game before I go on to the fourth temple, which is also the last main uh, story temple. But after I get the... Oh, I guess I killed this one. After I get the item from this temple... A lot of a lot of stuff will be unlocked for us to do. Okay. Man, 
I just noticed it's been. That's probably the cleanest kill I've done yet. But it's been what two years since I've last recorded. Jeez, <laughs> I need to get more in the habit of doing this. And Zoreg. Uh, one more to go. Unamas. And not too much serpents left. Sea snakes. I always wonder, what is that material that it's made out of? It's like algae or something. I never quite, like, understood that. Is it supposed to be scales? There could be a thing. To me, it always looked like veins. There's nothing actually on the bottom of this area. Just a bunch of jars with... Heart, uh, with magic if you need it. Oh, no, you're gonna kill me. Yeah. <laughs> Link sounded like he got hurt, and yet look at his health. Is there anything in here? Yeah, the last Zorag. Sweet. Alright. Now we have all the Zoraids. However, we still need to find that poor golden s I keep wanting to call him the starfish. Seahorse. We still need to find his friend. And I believe you can't find his friend randomly. In order to find his friend... Fram? In order, in order to find his friend... Hey, Chess. You have to actually destroy all the sea serpents. You got a ruby that we don't even need anymore because we're like rich. Rich as Nazis. Is there a seahorse over here? <laughs> seahorse. Sea snake. Too much aquatic animals have seen their name. Seahorse. Sea fish. Yes, because sea fish is a thing. Again, <laughs> I hope this isn't too boring for you guys. I still need to find that final snake. Is it down here? Please be down here. Yeah, there he is. Chilling like a villain. Being a little snack. And he's dead already. Okay. And there's his friend. Uh, let's go talk to them. See what they have to say. Thanks. Thank you, Link. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. You got a piece of heart. And they're in the formation of a heart. That is one. That is one type of friendship I've never seen. That was the most awkwardest descent into the air I've probably ever done. Air, I mean, up above sea level. Alright, so let's get lost. Well, actually, let's not get lost because we're already here. What? Oh, there we go. Great Bay Coast. So now let's go turn in our final eggs. And we've done all this in the span of one day. And that is because of that good old song called the song of double time, no not double time, song of inverted time. Man, if you don't know that song, this game gets really quick. There's actually a a challenge to beat this entire game. 
Not 100%, but at least to get to the final boss. In one three day cycle. Which, mm, I've never done before. Maybe I'll try. Of course, you saw that speed, speed tactic I did right there. I didn't even know that that would work. I was actually trying to do a... Do a lunge attack. Forward. To try to get myself in, but I guess I just caught myself in. Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's gonna start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. And these, how our Zoros are born. Look at them. They're dancing. Look at them dance. Look at this. What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it. Don't you understand? The way these Zoro children have lined up, it means... Now, when I first played this part, I didn't know exactly what he meant like this. And it was like the final days, so I didn't have much time to figure it out. But sadly, I never did figure it out. So I had to play this game again to do it. You don't have some kind of instrument. So what he's hinting at is that they've lined up in the formation of notes. Getting this in the right spot can be quite a problem. There we go. You have to target her. What was that guy doing back behind me? Is he dead? Is she? Is it? What is it? I'm hearing. Is, she, is it dancing? Look at him dance! You learned the new wave, Bosa Nova. That's a long name. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. Hint, hint. That! Yes! It's that instrument! <laughs> Mm, these Zoras are born to teach this song. If these boars are born to teach this song, then hurry! You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. You are one really strange old thing. I still don't know if you're a man or a girl. I think you're a man. I hope by all things you're a man. And these are fish. This will come in point later. But for now, let's check them out. That's a huge fish. I bet that thing could eat a small fish in a single bite. Hint, hint. Uh, anyways. So, this will be the end of our episode here. Thank you guys for watching. And, peace out.